we are simplifying this expression which contains radicals. So here we see that we have a two-term polynomial times a two-term polynomial. This means we have a binomial times a binomial. And to multiply this properly, we need to use our distributive property and make sure that this first term gets multiplied with both terms in the second set of brackets. And then the second term gets multiplied with both terms in the second set of brackets as well. So let's go ahead and do that first. Now we're going to simplify each of our new terms by multiplying the coefficients together and the radicals together. So when we do this, we can see in our first term that we have a perfect square with the 9, so we can take the square root of that. And we also have a perfect square with the 4, so we're going to take the square root there. And then our middle two terms, these are like radicals, so we can combine those together. So when we do that, we're going to end up with 3 times 3. When we combine the middle two terms, I have minus 6 plus 4. This is going to give me minus 2 root 6 when I combine them. And then at the end, I have minus 8 times 2. So now I need to calculate those two. So we have 9 minus 2 root 6 minus 16. And again, I have like terms with this constant and this constant term. So I'm going to combine those together. And I get negative 7 minus 2 root 6. I can't combine these two terms together because they are not like radicals. And I know that this term is in its simplest form because I can't break down the 6 into any factors that are perfect squares. So this now is simplified completely and we can't go any further than this.